See, this is what concerns me, Nick. You're a punctual guy. You know the importance of being here right at 6 a.m., which is what leads me to think that there must be something wrong with the internal clock on our security system. May have been a minute late. Well, no, but according to this, you were two minutes late. So either you're a liar or this system is off by a full minute. The only hitch? I work for this guy, David Harkin, who right now is giving me some fresh shit for being two minutes late. He's a total fucking asshole. And if that's the case, then I'm gonna have to fire Thomas, our longtime security coordinator. It may have been two minutes late. Oh, well, then you were lying. No, I, who are you calling? Thomas, I yeah. gotta let him go. No, I, I was lying, sorry. You were lying? Yeah, I didn't mean to. It was more of a saying, you know. Might have been a minute late. Literally, uh, truthfully, was two minutes late. Now, I know you've been working your tail off for that promotion. I'm not sure I can even consider making you the senior vice president of sales if I can't trust you. You can trust me. Yeah, now you sound like my wife. Trust me. You can trust me, honey. Nothing's happening behind your back. You can trust me. I mean, she's fucking every guy in the neighborhood. Oh, you want one? It's 8.15 a.m. Well, is there something wrong with a man enjoying a drink in the morning? No. Thank you. Sure, thanks. Bottoms up. Nothing for you? Nick, it's 8.15 in the morning. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> Mr. Harkin, the only reason I took one because I thought you were going to have one, so... You took one because you thought I was going to have one? Is that something you think a senior VP would do? I was just trying to be polite. So what? If I uh, was going to put my balls in honey and shaved coconut, you'd do that too? I would not. Sure? Yeah. Because I've got some coconut. Anyway, I'm having my teeth whitened on Tuesday. So you're going to have to get all your work done by Monday, which means you're probably going to have to be here all weekend. Look, if you want a promotion, you got to earn it. Now, what do I keep saying? Life is a marathon, and you cannot win a marathon without putting a few Band-Aids on your nipples, right? Nick, it's 18-year-old scotch. You don't really expect me to pour it back into the bottle, do you? <coughs> you did say 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. Do you know what this is about? I just said staff meeting on the memo. It's funny how he gets all over my ass if I'm a minute late, but then he makes us wait 15. You were two minutes late, Nick. Morning. And I didn't think I had to punch a clock with you. You don't, sorry. That's all right, I'll just attribute this to your drinking problem. Yeah, I don't have Nick, a... please, we're in the middle of the meeting. Sorry. Morning, everyone. So, I have finally decided who I want to be our new senior vice president of sales. He's right here in this room. It's me. What do you think? I've decided to absorb the responsibilities of the senior VP position into my own. I've realized that if you want to get something done right, you've got to do it yourself. So I'm going to be breaking through the wall of the office that would have been the senior VPs and make one huge, enormous office. However, I will only be taking 85% of the additional salary I'm entitled to, and that is self-sacrifice people learn from. Fucker! <laughs> So, meeting adjourned. Mr. Harkin, can I speak to you? Yeah, sure, what is it? You know, for months you've been hinting that I was in line for that promotion? And look how hard you've been working. What, were you just lying to me? Lying? No, Nick. Motivating. I mean, look, we're all part of the same team here. Plus, you know, I'm the one who's going to be doing all the extra work. You know that last month you made me work so late, I missed saying goodbye to my gam gam? I'm sorry, what? My grandmother. I told you that I needed to see her because she was very, very sick. You said if I left early, I'd get fired. And she died before I made it to the hospital. I'm sorry. Thank you. I had no idea that you called your grandmother. 
<laughs> Sorry. Sorry you didn't get to say bye bye to Cam Cam. I really, I really but I needed you to stay here and work late because you were an invaluable member of this operation and I need you in the position that you're currently in. Well, tough shit, okay? I've been in that position for eight years now. Why would I stay here after being treated like this? Well, because I'd make sure that nobody in the industry would ever hire you again. Bullshit. No, because they're gonna want my letter of recommendation, right? So I'm perfectly willing to write that you are an insubordinate, dishonest drunk. You can't do that. That's not true. Let me tell you something, you stupid little runt. I own you. You're my bitch. So don't walk around here thinking you have free will because you don't. I can crush you any time I want. So settle in. Because you are here for the long haul.